Hi everyone, cruise control is getting more commonplace on different cars. We see it on the smaller cars, the, the town cars if you like nowadays. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to try and show you how to use it, and more importantly, when to use it safely. To operate and use cruise control, you're going to have buttons or a stalk which will do certain things. And they're quite universal across most cars that I've driven. This one, you've got a button to set, you've got a button to cancel, you've got a resume button, and you've also got plus and minus buttons. They won't look exactly the same on every car, but the functionality of cruise control is usually pretty similar across the board. This next section of road is definitely not suitable for cruise control. We've got loads of parked cars, we've got traffic calming measures, and although it's a Sunday, we've still got a school up ahead, so normally there's no way in the world that you'd be putting cruise control on, on a road like this. We need the road to be much quieter, much clearer, very little to do, and flowing really nicely. And we also, more importantly, need to see really far. This road looks pretty good for cruise control. There's not much going on, it's quite straight and I can see really far. So I'm at 30 miles an hour and all I'm going to simply do is press the set button. It sets it as you can see by the dashboard at 30 miles an hour. If I want to lower the speed, it's quite simple. I can just press the minus buttons. We're down to 28. If I want to increase the speed, it's simple as well. I can just press the plus buttons. There we go, we're back up to 30. Another important feature of uphill cruise control increases the power to the engine and literally keeps you at that same speed we're going up quite a slope downhill it decreases the power to the engine and should keep you there or thereabouts at 30 miles an hour again however sometimes it does tend to run away a little bit more than the speed limit so you might have to control it with the brake pedal in those situations let's have a look as it goes down this hill it's doing a pretty good job to take the cruise control off you can do it in a couple of ways you can either press the brake pedal which will take it off instantaneously or you can press cancel in this situation with the cars not too far behind I'm just going to press cancel and now I'm going to choose when I want to brake to warn these cars behind. If it's an emergency situation or if you need to brake straight away, the cruise control takes itself off instantly. Now what I'm going to have a quick look at is resume. If the road allows up ahead, which at the moment it doesn't because it's too busy, it's too uh, full of parked cars, it's too full of hazards, we've got the car pulling out, we've got a cyclist a little bit further up. But if the road clears, I'm going to show you how resume works. Now I might just be able to do, do it momentarily. I'm below 30 miles an hour. If I press resume, it will then build back up to 30, the speed that it was previously set at. And luckily enough, the cyclist has gone on the pavement, so I was able to maintain the cruise control being on. This road is just about on the limit, in my opinion, of being workable for cruise control. There are a few potential hazards, so what I'm doing, I'm watching the road really carefully and being ready to take the cruise control off. I'm actually going to just touch the brake and take the cruise control off now, just to negotiate this bend, the traffic lights, and obviously now with all the parked cars a bit further up, it's not suitable to have the cruise control on. So pick your time and pick your place to use cruise control. Let's 
let's have a look at cruise control on the motorway. We'll start assessing the speed of the traffic on the motorway straight from the off. And to be honest, it looks quite clear and quite light. So now I've emerged safely, assess the speed of the traffic. It doesn't have to be at 70. If this left lane, for example, if you wanted to stay in this left lane, was doing 66, 67, not a problem. They're actually going a little bit faster than 70. So I'm gonna set it, and I don't know whether you realize there, I don't know whether you saw, I set it to 71 by mistake. So I'm just gonna press the minus arrow and get it back down to 70 miles an hour. Perfect time to use it. It doesn't mean you can relax though. If you've got your cruise control on, you need to be paying attention and making certain that you're not catching people and people aren't catching you. Because don't forget, if there is a vehicle emerging from this junction to the left hand side, normally you should be adjusting your speed, maybe up a bit, down a bit to sort this out. Cruise control won't allow you to do that. So even in this scenario, it forces better observation because you can't react at the last moment You've got to be planning ahead and in your mirror and knowing who's around you all the time. Modern cruise control systems are getting cleverer. They maintain distance from cars in front. It's often called active cruise control. We're set at 70 and I'm catching the one in front. So I'm having to lower my speed to stop my car catching this one in front. Other cars, not this one, but other cars have these active cruise control systems which would do that for you. And there are even vehicles that take it to an extreme where if the vehicle in front stopped, the car with these active cruise control systems would slow down and stop also without you having to do a thing. Be careful once you've left the faster roads not to press resume. If you press resume now, it would want to take you back off to 70 miles an hour, which is no good. I've just cancelled it. If this road was suitable and you wanted to use the cruise control again, just press set when it's at the speed you require. Another function of cruise control is when you've got it set at a particular speed, it's set at 22 here, I'm now going to accelerate, I'm going to go up to 30. If I came off the gas now, it then only settles back down to the speed previously set at the cruise control. So that's an important thing, it will only take off and cancel the cruise control when you either press the brake pedal or cancel it. Even on 20 limits, cruise control is a great tool. It might just stop you getting a speeding ticket one day. I hope you found this video useful. Give it a go if your car's got cruise control. Let us know how you get on as well. But above all anything else, do it safely at the correct time. Thanks for watching.